Welcome to part three on our series on the jab. And in this particular series, we're going to be looking at movement, power, and speed. The first thing with movement is this is a hand technique. So the hand must move first. If I'm going to step to my opponent, the hand is on its way before I step. Try and avoid in class stepping, then punching. Okay? I'm going to push from the back leg, but the hand is on its way already. Okay? So I'm going to push from the back leg, but the hand is on its way already. Okay? It's a very, very minute thing. But hand technique, the hand moves first. I'll try and do this at a natural speed. You're ready to jab, ready to jab. Okay, so the hand moves first. Same principles apply from the front. As I step in and hit, you'll notice the body is still locked off. With movement, okay, I've not stepped and turned away and collapsed. So from the front, hand moves first, hand moves first. If I move backwards, move backwards, again, the hand moves before the feet. So you need to go nice and slow. We've covered footwork in previous videos. Step and slide forward, step and slide back. Punch first, punch first. Get the hand moving first, get the hand moving first. Okay, the next thing we need to look at is power. My own personal view is that the mechanics hardly change at all. It's intent, okay? It's intent. So as I'm gonna punch really slow like we did in video one, where I'll put some power behind it, it's an intention, okay? And a drive and a snap. But the actual mechanics are the same. Really, really soft. Little step, bit of power. Okay, again, really soft, really soft. Little bit of intent. Viewed from the side. Little soft punch. Now I'm going to step with power and intent. Okay, so it's an intention, a bit more snap. I'm going to cover the snap in another video because that's a topic all on its own. But it's just a little bit of intent. The drive. From here, as I turn here and drive this hip forward, it's a snap, but I don't collapse in. I'm still nice and tight, I still don't turn the opposite side away. I still bring this back on the high line and I still cover my chin. But you can tell by the exhalation that it's intent. The mechanics don't change that much at all. Okay, the final thing I want to touch on before we bring the jab series to a close is that of speed. We all want a lovely quick punch. There are things you can do, tools you can use. I'm a big fan of bunty straps. Stretch bunty straps behind you, punch for 30 seconds to a minute, put the bunty straps down and then punch again. Really good. But we've got no equipment, so what can we do? Visualisation is the key. Visualisation and relaxation. I want to use the same mechanics that you would if you're in your boxing stance, but you're just switching off a light switch. Touch and back, touch and back, touch and back. It's got to be that light. Okay, don't place any stress on yourself. I'm really relaxed. Now imagine a roaring fire, for example, and in that fire is a valuable gold coin. You've got to get it out. Okay, pick your fingers, cool them down, and you're just going to touch as if you're going to snatch. Notice I'm open palmed here on a lot of these because I want to keep myself relaxed. I don't want to tense. Nice and relaxed. Picture the coin. You've got to get in and out the flames. Relax and drive in. Again, you should be able to see the mechanics are the same. The other thing that you can do is circle slightly. Allow yourself to cheat slightly. So rather than back on the same line, you can curve this just slightly. So I'm gonna come out and then just slightly oval and back, like a circle, uh, sorry, like an oval. Not too much that I'm circling here or that I'm dropping, but just enough that I can circle. So I drive and then just loop this back to here. 
Relax, picture snatching something out of the flames. Relax, don't throw too many. Okay. Ultimately, you're going to be back and forward on the same line. But you can just circle this slightly, come out and then just loop this back. We'll step a bit closer to the camera. You can keep this really light. So you approach your, spot, your training partner, for your sparring, you just want to just send one out just to see what he's got. Just really light, just a quick touch, just to test his reactions. The lighter you can keep this, the quicker you can get. Okay, treat it quite like an eye jab, open hands, take all that stress and all that pressure off. Got all that tension, shake it out. Keep it light, keep practicing.